Howdy. My name is Ray. So I wanted to start a YouTube channel that was going to do art tutorials, mostly cheap art tutorials. Um, because specifically, most of the art channels I've seen, they're all in places like San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, big fancy places. And they have access to art supplies that people from places like Alabama, like me, don't have access to. So even the cheap art supply tutorials I've seen is still like, you need access to places that can get you still good art supplies. Like, you know, a cheap paint would be like $3, a cheap pack of paintbrushes would be like five bucks, and a cheap canvas would be like 20 bucks or something. I'm more on the standard of wanting to spend like 50 cents to a dollar on things. Um, that's more my kind of range. So my art tutorials are gonna go more on the basis of people living in areas where you have access to a Walmart and or a Dollar Tree. That's what I'm going for. Uh, this first one I'm wanting to do is going to be painting on a large scale for cheap. I love painting big. Painting big gives you so much more room to work and play around, especially if you're working with acrylic paint like I like to. And like, you know, you can work in sketchbooks, you can work on small canvases to keep it cheaper, but working big is so much more fun and you get so much more room to explore. So I'm gonna talk about my really cheap way to practice working big. You're gonna need to go to a Dollar Tree or Walmart. Either one's gonna work for this. It's gonna be a couple of bucks at most to go ahead and get this done. You're not gonna have the most professional looking thing at the end of it because yeah, we're gonna be working on a poster board but it's an exceptionally good way to practice. And even if it's not the most professional looking, you can still stick that sucker in a frame and sell it. You can give it to your friend, you can stick it on the wall. You can say, people say like, wow, did you paint that giant thing over there? I say, yes, I did. I painted that all myself. I don't have the fanciest setup. You don't need the fanciest setup. I got a drafting table half off at Hobby Lobby for like 70 bucks, which is still more expensive than I've ever had before. I used to just take the dinner table and tape down my poster board or my paper down onto it over like, I have this plank of wood that I use. I'll show you a plank of wood. It's literally a plank of wood with a handle on it. This is what I used to use. It's literally just a plank of wood with a handle on it. There's paint all over it. There's scratch marks in it from where I was using my X-Acto knife and before I had that, my pair of scissors, but you can end up with something really nice still, no matter what you're working with. And we're not again talking about something where it's like $30 or something cheap. I want to keep this like five, 10 bucks because some of us don't have a lot of money or access to good things. So let me go ahead and show you the supplies. So these aren't necessarily what you have to get exactly. This is what I got to do this. And this is kind of my go-to stuff that I use. You don't have to do sketches before you move on to your big poster board. It helps a heck of a lot to do it. And Dollar Tree for $1 obviously has these little sketch pads. You can sketch on them. I've just got schools on here because I like to tear out my stuff that I'm working on, which you see in the video. And I like to tape it on the wall behind so I can always have it viewed. This is just like cheap packing tape I also got from the Dollar Tree, which is right here, which is also what I use to tape down my poster board onto my table. For sketching, I like colored pencils. I got this pack here of six colored pencils. That was a dollar. Um, just got a pack of erasers from like Walmart a million years ago. I think it was like a dollar. I like the little pink rubber ones. I got some of them hiding somewhere, but I like this little white one I had because it's got like a little, he's like wearing a little shirt kind of. Um, I'm not gonna lie. These two little ones are from the Dollar Tree out of a pack. These paint brushes are ones that my neighbor gave me. I think they're from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. You can get cheap brushes. Uh, just make sure they're not like the absolute worst, like Crayola where they're all like splayed out. You wanna make sure it's at least like holding together and never wash them in hot water cause you're gonna melt the glue that holds them together and like this part's just gonna fly off, which is not exactly what you want. I went with acrylic paint. This is the colors that I used and then this big boy. I don't use fancy paint. This brand, Folk Art, that's the fancier one because it's like chalk paint. I don't know what the difference is. I think it's more matte or something. 
those are like, I think at Walmart, they're like a dollar fifty a piece, maybe. That guy's bigger. I got him from Hobby Lobby because I use a crap ton of blue. Um, he was a dollar ninety nine because he's the fancy one. But yeah, these are like a buck fifty a piece. They can go fairly far, even for me. And I take like big globs of paint, just slap him down and smush him around with the brush. It goes a lot farther if you mix it with water, which I didn't even know you do for the longest time. I thought you were just supposed to use globs of color. There's an even cheaper brand at Walmart called Apple Barrel. I want to say that's like at mine 89 cents a piece for little bottles. So acrylic paint is a really easy way to go and it's extremely forgiving if you're painting because if you let it dry, you can completely cover it. If you make a mistake, you mess up the eyes, which I do constantly, you just cover it up. Just cover it up and do it again because it's acrylic. It's really opaque, really thick. It's gonna cover it up perfectly. Um, what you want to do is make sure since there's like the glossy side like this and then there's like The matte side like that always paint on the matte side. Um, so Let me just show you uh, this is filmed after the fact what it goes from and to so you can take your poster board a couple colors of acrylic paint your little sketch you got taped up there and with a little bit of work This took me a couple hours. You can get to something pretty cool. That's what I came up with. Like I said, it's really a cheap thing to do um, working with the poster board, but you can get to something that looks fairly professional. Poster board is a pretty good option to play with, and like I said, this definitely helps you practice being able to paint large scale, this is almost the size of my desk, for really cheap. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead into the speed paint.
So that was my tutorial on how to go from a blank poster board, spend a couple of bucks, which you can reuse those supplies later, it's a good investment, to something like this. That's not the only thing you can do. I've practiced on a couple more over the years. This is one I did, this is still a poster board, but she's watercolored. So you can see you can use watercolor on poster board too, and I had a gold ink that I used on it. My watercolors aren't fancy either. I've had them since I was 10 years old. I do not know where my mother got them, but I'm still using them. But poster board can take a lot of damage. It can take a lot of heat and not warp or tear very bad, especially if you smash it really hard into a frame you found on the side of the road to flatten it out. Looks like a real thing, doesn't it? Like, you can barely tell that this is a poster board. Just tell people that it is before you sell it to them because they should probably know that. But, you know, we use what we got. Um, as far as videos moving on, I'm going to do more videos that are either very, very cheap supplies to practice with or free supplies to practice with. And free, I'm meaning like actually free. One of my favorite things to paint on that you can practice painting on a matte surface or a gloss surface, once you have the paints and everything, is paint chips from the Home Depot or Lowe's. You can take a ton of these, shove them in your pockets and walk out of the store. They're not gonna stop you. They don't care. They pay those people like $7 an hour, but it's cute little surfaces. You just slap them down on the table, like tape across the top and you can paint on it. And depending on which ones you grab, some of them have a very glossy kind of slick surface to them. And some of them have a very matte surface to them. And you can also practice seeing what kind of colors look good together because you can say, I wanna paint on this orange one. And you'll have to figure out what's gonna look good on the orange chip. What's gonna look good on the blue chip. It's a good one. Another one I'm going to do is going to be learning to paint on wood because people do like painting on wood blocks. I love painting on wood. It's super fun. Another thing you can pick up at the Home Depot, wood samples, see? little pieces of wood that you can just pick up for free. Home Depot or Lowe's, one of them charges you like a buck a piece. One of them puts them out for free. I don't remember which is which. Go to both and check it out, I guess. Oh, it's Home Depot. Home Depot does them for free. Another tip for these, they make the perfect coaster because it's like a wood surface, it's thick, and they have this foam on the back so they don't scratch your table up. So if you need some free coasters, go pick up a bunch of these. Go to different Home Depots if you're in an area that you can do that because they might start to recognize you if you pick up too many of these too often. So like grab a lot when you go in and then wait a while and go back. Don't go like twice a week and do it because they might recognize you at a point. Something that my home, not Home Depot, something that my Dollar Tree picked up is little stacks of wood planks that you can paint on. This is like six of them for a dollar and they're like a decent size for what they are. You can paint on both sides if you want some practice. You can paint on one side if you just want to have little like tiles that you can sell or give to your friends or just like a fun thing to do is paint things and then just put them outside and see if people take them like painting rocks and just like putting them back in places. And then you can put your Instagram hashtag on the bottom and see what happens with that. It's kind of a fun thing you can do. I'm also on this channel going to be doing a series called Goblin Squad, which is gonna be with my friend Kane, where we go out driving around the streets. We're gonna go to the fancier areas where we live in Alabama and pick up furniture that people have left on the side of the road. And then we're just gonna mess with it. We're gonna repaint it. We're gonna turn it into like frogs or like put eyeballs all over it or spray paint it green and then put it back on the side of the road with a sign that says like, take me and then tag me where you put it or whatever. But that's gonna be fun. And the main purpose behind that is that there's so much furniture on the side of the road. People throw things out so much. We wanna take it, make it interesting so that someone will want it and it just doesn't go into a landfill. Cause he's an interior designer. He's gonna have a little bit better of an eye than me. And I like making things weird. So I feel like there's some college kids out there that might want to pick this up. Whoever wants it in their house is going to be better than going into the landfill. 
I'm going to try to put out videos every once a week. Once a week. I'm going to figure out what day works best. I know a lot of people are at home watching videos right now because it makes you feel like a normal person. I'm doing the same thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead at the end of this video and down in the description below put in my Instagram hashtag, my Etsy, where I'm probably going to have prints of this girl. Um, I will also do videos about how to do prints actually for cheap, not like, you know, it's a $10 print, it's a $15 print. We're going to do like two, three dollar prints. I have a 60 buck printer from 2010. Or you can go to Walgreens and use half off coupons and get prints like that. We're going to go through that later. Um, but yeah, like I said, links are going to be in the description. Like and comment on this video. Uh, tell me if you want to see anything weird painted. I've got everything. We got mannequin heads, we've got skateboards, everything I pick up off the side of the road is going to get messed with. So just stay tuned. Thanks.